disclaimer, the procedures in this video is based on my experiences and understanding according to the instruction manual on board the vessel. The purpose of this video is to give an idea to people who are not yet familiar with the works, still studying, and those who are thinking of starting their profession. So always observe po tayo sa safety, doing maintenance works, and repairs na rin. So always refer po tayo sa manuals provided by the maker. So safety first po tayo. Good day. Please come and join me as we test our Daihatsu MD NM oil mist detector here at our uh, main engine. So we are now currently in Anchorage here at Richards Bay. So what a great way or a chance to test all safety features of our main engine. So our schedule for today is this oil mist detector system. So just a brief in intro regarding the oil mist detection system why we use this one especially on diesel engines now it's in a main engine in particular so the rotary direction of the crankshaft inside the crankcase structure of the engine inside produces heavy splash of lubrication lubrication oil occurs inside and in that case there uh, produces oil mist so the oil mist is sucked inside by a fan mechanism so detection of oil mist density by using this conventional type of fan suction mechanism is by driving air and inside the pipes and it still have to pass through a light emitting element or LED and a light receiving element also now this is how the oil mist density inside the crankcase is constantly monitored so when the oil mist density exceeds the setting going to overheated bearings an alarm will be given and a signal will be output to the outside giving an alarm signal stop the engine or check for any or any case do some troubleshooting and fault finding here I'm showing you the pipes leading to or going to the ground case here just going inside going to the apparatus equipment up. These pipes uh, have corresponding numbers as per chamber uh, up in the equipment so as to easily pinpoint which uh, chamber is in 
folgt. Now let us see the insides of this equipment. So as you can see there's a dirty part. markings on the back plate now this is the part where the photo tube is located where the light emitting element is here in place and also the light emitting receiver Now we have this specific buttons here for the source, test, reset and this instruction inside the panel where you can adjust also the gain, also the specific alarms, levels of alarms, final alarm, slight alarm. Now we will be using this piece of paper test or simulate an alarm so what we're gonna do is to press the test button once by pressing the test it will send the rotary indicator to zero and making the green normal light to flicker now by sliding this piece of paper in between the light receiver and the LED will send an alarm when the test is done you can press again the test mode so now it's all back to its normal operation if you encounter trouble or fault alarm with this equipment all you have to do is just to uh, turn off the source and a few seconds or a few minutes you can turn it on again and the fault will be done and uh, also the trouble guys thank you for watching uh, thank you for your time please don't forget to subscribe and like and share please help me in growing my youtube channel